partner, man. Who? It's your partner, man. Who? You know what I'm talking about? It's your partner, man. Who? You know what I'm talking about? That was good with the people, man. How is y'all doing on those triggers Tuesday? You say those triggers Tuesday. What you talking about, bro? We're going to get into it. But before we do that, what's good? People like, he, he, ha, ha, man. Ken in the pen. All my folks incarcerated. All my folks who ain't, man. Everybody on the bottom of that thing. Everybody on top of that thing, man. Keep that head up. You know what I'm talking about? Keep pushing. We're going to get through it to get to it, man. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all know what this is. Worldwide. You know what I'm talking about? They say what, bro? Worldwide INC. Worldwide Incorporated. Worldwide. Hey, you know, they gonna say what that means? I'm saying, hey, you know, means everybody. You say what? I'm saying, hey, everybody included, bro. You know what I'm talking about? And Dugu, Mike, Lil Ru, not Lil Ru, Lil Ru. You know what I'm talking about? Tata the player. That's who comes next, bro. Same thing, bro. Everybody on bottom of that thing. Everybody on top of that thing, man. Keep that head up. Keep pushing. You know what I'm talking about? We gonna get through it to get to it, man. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, and it's uh, and Dugu, Mike, Cutthroat, Lil Ru, not Lil Ru. Lil Rue, Tata the player, that's who comes next. Same thing, bro. Everybody on bottom of that thing, top of that thing, keep that head up. You know what I'm talking about? We gonna get through it to get to it, man. You know what I'm talking about? But, uh, oh, man, did I say Ken in the pen? You know what I'm talking about? If I didn't, go get that stick up in stores now, man. Go get you something on 76 MacArthur Giants. Look, I'm talking about 82nd Hillside Barbershop. They say somebody putting them in their stores in the hundreds. Thank you, young man. Now, you know, because I tell you every morning, but just in case you don't like me, you know what I'm talking about? You ain't got to worry about it, man. You know what I'm talking about? Because you can still come get them from me, man. You know what I'm talking about? I told you, bro, you know, that hater. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, hold on. You got to give them a better spread than that, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, hold on, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Ah, you know what I'm talking about? There you go. Sprinkler system on you. What you say, bro? Sprinkler system on you. You know what I'm talking about, man? Also in stores, man, you know what I'm talking about? Funk or die trying, you know what I'm talking about? But if all else fails, and I mean if all else fails, man, make sure you go to Amazon, man, and get you a hardback, you know what I'm talking about? Uh-oh, what's that? Uh, let me get the uh, these disclaimers out the way, but before we do that, mama say I'm bloody nose on camera. Mm -hmm. All right, well, mama say, don't blow your nose on camera. Mm -hmm. Sorry, mama. Top of the world, mama. Top of the world, mama. You know what I'm talking about? They say, bro, you a fool with it. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah, man, uh, I'm going to say breast and whiskers when you're on TV, man. Yeah, good brother like myself, I don't promote no drug users. Mm -mm, I don't promote no drug sellage. Mm -mm, I don't promote no alcohol consumption. No, no, no. Don't take a sip of the sippers. You know what I'm talking about? Good brother like myself, man. I don't promote no crime. Mm -mm, I don't promote no violence. Mm -mm, you know what I'm talking about? I don't promote no domestic violence. Mm -mm. Keep your hands off the people, people, you know what I'm talking about? I don't promote no negativity. He don't know, no, no. Me, man, I don't promote shit. He don't talking about they was on me, man. I don't promote shit. Uh, you know what I mean? Me, all I promote is y'all go ahead and do what you're going to do with your time, young ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you find the right thing. Do with your time, young ladies and gentlemen, because we don't know how much of it we have. He don't talking about. He ain't on talking about, but a good brother like myself, oh man, I ain't prejudiced, no, man. Good brother like myself, I ain't got nothing to do with, uh, uh, I ain't got nothing against the sexually different, no, 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 man, yeah, man, yeah. I ain't got nothing against the little people, no, man, me, man, all, uh, I ain't got no problems with nobody, he ain't on talking about, they I love me some everybody, as a matter of fact, he ain't on talking about. I'm a quest, bring that peace. He don't talk about that joy. He don't talk about that love. Who you say, bring that love? He don't talk about back to the YouTube community. You with me? Come on over. Hey, check it out. Come fuck with a nigga one time, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Man, what's good with the people, man? How is y'all doing out here, man? You know what I'm talking about? On those triggers Tuesday. You say, what you talking about, bro? We gonna get into it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, we gonna get into it. Those triggers Tuesday. Say, bro, what you talking about? Oh, we gonna get into it. Yeah, we gonna get into it. Hang on, don't want to uh, shout out to everybody who can't spell but still know what a. <laughs> uh, shout out to everybody who can't spell but still need a blast. <laughs> it starts with B. <laughs> God damn, those triggers, man. They say, what you talking about, bro? Oh, man, those triggers. You know what I'm talking about? They say, what are those triggers? Man, check this out. I just seen something. That's why I even started this video. All right, one of my uh, Instagram people, man, I seen her. Uh, uh, 
oh man, it was a good post. Because it said, basically, nigga, your triggers are your responsibility. You know what I'm talking about? It's not on the rest of the world to tiptoe around you. You know, that says something right there. Ooh, he gonna talk about. Yeah, that says something right there. Because I, like, I'm one of them niggas that really don't like quotes. Because I think we got too much of that shit in, you know what I'm talking about? We got too much of that shit in the world. You get what I'm saying? Like, we hide behind them quotes and phrases and shit like that. Like, you'll see something, because a lot of people who do that shit and be posting them quotes, the quote they be posting be describing them. You know what I'm talking about? A lot of people who do that shit. So I don't really like that shit, because I think we too, but that's one right there. That shit true as a motherfucker, bro. Because in this day and age right here, bro, I think we artificially uh claim shit. Yeah, I think we be self-diagnosing ourselves and shit. I think we like to go around people and tell them that we suffering from depression and I think we just like to give ourselves ailments. You get what I'm saying? I do. But those triggers, it's just that right there, bro. Because, like, as people, we act like it's not on us to control ourselves. We, like, I told y'all when I went to the uh, to the casino one time, folks trying to uh, place my bet, the only seat that was available where I could see at, and I sat down and the nigga turned around and told me, a white boy, told me, I don't like people sitting behind me in a fucking casino. Man, listen, <coughs> if I wasn't already rushing, that was one of them things right there. You you look at a nigga and you realize, like, you look at a nigga, bro, and you catch yourself. You know what I'm talking about? Because at first I was like, you know what I'm talking about? At first, bro, I was just pissed off. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you know what I mean? Bro, wasn't up in there trying to <laughs> trying to uh, look at the words. Cause I let, you know what I'm talking about? I said, what, nigga? Yeah, man, man, I don't like people. Man, then move, nigga. I don't give a fuck what you don't like, nigga. That shit ain't got nothing to do with me. That's your problem, folks. You know what I'm talking about? You can't project your problem on me, so I'm supposed to get up and go sit somewhere else because you in a public casino and you don't like people sitting behind. I said, stay home, nigga. That's what you do. Stay home, bro. Don't go to no public place and try to control, and that's what we do, folks. Long story short... Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. You know what I'm talking about? What is that, bro? Old lady. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, boy, shit, what's real wild? Yeah, man. I see y'all. Uh, they came through last night teasing me about these little blunts. Man, let me tell you something, nigga. You wouldn't be able to smoke one of these little blunts, man. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you wouldn't be able to... Uh, I'm going to tell you, like RBL told you back in the day, man, don't give me no Bammer weed. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? We going to smoke that shit in the SFC. <laughs> oh, I see you, man. But yeah, man. And on those triggers, Tuesday, I think we be sitting around keeping everybody hostage, playing games with everybody else, just trying to get them to do what we want them to do. And I can't stand that type of shit right there. Oh, hold on, man. Before I get into it, I want to shout out my big sis. Happy birthday, sis. I see you, man. Love you. You know what I'm talking about? I just want to shout out my whole family, man. Love y'all. You know what I'm talking about? Even if we don't talk that much, we don't see you. Man, I love you, man. You know what I'm talking about? You call, bro. I'm coming. I love you, man. All you. You know what I'm talking about? All you. See, I'm one of them niggas in the family, bro. I, bro, kind of neutral. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man? Bro, don't... Uh, yeah, bro, kind of neutral. That kind of little uh, junior, junior, mean, <laughs> junior, be, <laughs> junior, that, uh, uh, since junior was little. Yeah, I be fucking with breath. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out to all my folks. Love y'all, man. But yeah, man, on this, those triggers, like I said, we living in a world where they'll tell you what to be mad about now. <clears throat> So you might not even been angry at a, uh, they just tell you what to be mad, uh, angry about. Just like they tell you what to look out for. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? And they just got y'all playing one big ass game. I'm telling you more and more of these little nephews you talk to, bro. You can tell these niggas is stuck on, uh, uh, I think they be watching the other little nerds. That, uh, whatever the black nigga is and the other nerd ass nigga that got fired on at the soccer game. And them is like them niggas idols. You know what I'm talking about? <clears throat> so you hear actually youngsters running around saying shit like that. The minor and woman. 
uh, I'm not going 50-50, man. But you hear him saying all that other shit that they don't even know what it means, bro. Like, narcissists and, uh, what that nigga just say? She's monkey branching and, like, bro, all that shit is nerd talk, folks. I ain't bullshitting with you, bro. All that shit is nerd talk. And it's like you niggas expect all bitches to act alike, folks. You know what I'm talking about? Even though this is those triggers Tuesday. Y'all act like there's some game. There's some universal game for a bitch. You know what I'm talking about? Like you can. This trick right here will work on every bitch in the world. It, it ain't nothing like that, bro. It ain't no you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it ain't no universal game, bruh. Like that. Like, you, it's just a trick that's going to work on every bitch. You know what I'm talking about, bruh? Everybody is different. Ugh. Yeah, everybody is different, bruh. You're going to have to, uh... You're going to have to come into your game on the fly when dealing with some people, man. You know what I'm talking about? But us as people, we really don't listen to other people. We just want to tell other people to listen to us. You know what I'm talking about? Nephew says, old oh, man, old oh, lady. Nephew says, old oh, man, old oh, lady. You know what I'm talking about? Old oh, lady. And I think that's just how we get into it with each other, bro. I do. Pop, <coughs> pop. <coughs> 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 I'll tell you, man, you got to come up on this shit real light. Real light. They gonna say, what is it, bro? I keep telling you, I smoke gumbo, bro. They say, what is gumbo? It's when you take all the strands and put them together. I can't smoke one strand. I mean, I can, but that shit is not gonna, uh, I'm just gonna get used to it. So you just take all that, uh, all that high caliber shit, and you just dump it in the bag, and we call that gumbo. You know what I'm talking about around these parts? So you be having everything up in that motherfucker. Like I said before, tiger pussy, platinum cookies, you know what I'm talking about? Some uh Skittles, uh <clears throat> You know what I'm talking about? Shout out to my nigga, you know what I'm talking about, that keeps me in the game. You know what I'm talking about? My niggas that keep me in the game. You know what I'm talking about? They say, who is it? Scan money, both my nigga about that Frisco. I see. You know what I'm talking about? My nigga that's out there, Big Frisco. You feel me? You know it's was hella funny. <clears throat> and I didn't do it hella time. I didn't fuck with nigga because, like, on our turf, my nigga Herc from Frisco used to come fuck with us. Where Herc from? Herc either from, uh... Herc either from Fieldmo or Hunter's Point. I don't know which one, man. I don't want to get it wrong, bro. You know what I'm talking about? But I think Herc, Herc either from Hunter's Point or Fillmore. I don't know which one it is. But Herc used to come fuck with my nigga Heem, my brother right here. Heem, Heem used to fuck around in Frisco. I didn't even know like that. You know what I'm talking about? My nigga used to, you know what I'm talking about? Because Herc was his nigga. But that was funny. Like, I met Herc. Then I was out jailing here, man. And I ran into Sand Q Monster. You know what I'm talking about? And that's Herc and them, uh... And I've been coming across these people my whole, you know what I'm talking about, when I was out there fucking with Herc and them. I'm about to say I'm blowing it all the account. But it's funny how small this world really is. I gotta get Monster number, really. Go fuck with my nigga Monster. You know what I'm talking about? Because I used to fuck with Monster on, uh... I left Monster, my shit, Sand Q. They call him Monster out here back home. They call him Sand Q, though. You know what I'm talking about? <clears throat> from Frisco, not the Sand Q from Oakland. Uh, Pendazi, Daddy, now you know. But yeah, man, that ain't had nothing to do with nothing. That shit just funny how the, uh, small the world is. But yeah, man, those triggers. Because we got a bunch of man-made shit, especially now, bruh. They they, uh, they teach you, so you'll just sit here 
and make yourself a certain way that you not really, you ain't even really this way. <clears throat> you just trying to uh, portray yourself this way, you know what I'm talking about? So everything that uh, you would just declare, you know, like these bitches be doing now when they want to go on a date. They be trying to tell you everything they will and they won't go for. Like, that shit matter at this time, bitch. I don't give a fuck about, like, I don't think y'all get that as people. So you think I'm supposed to meet you and you just supposed to give me a laundry list of shit that I'm going to buy, buy, bitch. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit on that list, bitch. You better check this list out. You know what I'm talking about? And the number one rule is shut the fuck up. You know what I'm talking about? That's the, that's the only thing on that list. Shut the fuck up. You know what I'm talking about? In big bold letters. Shut your punk ass up, bitch. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's all they say on that list. But that shit be funny. Because we sit around, bruh, and then you you, cre you create invisible triggers to trip off of. That ain't really what gets you mad. <clears throat> you just event shit. You just event shit in your own head that you're going to trip off of. Those triggers Tuesday. And the reason, like, you know how we all hypocrites now and shit. But that's what make you the, uh... I don't think that's what people get either, bruh. Because you be, uh, you be wanting people not to do shit to you that you do to them. You know what I'm talking about? It's just kind of crazy, bruh. You know what I'm talking about? Just like I said, you want somebody to respect you while you being disrespectful to them. You want somebody to talk to you <clears throat> respectfully while you talking to them disrespectfully. You want somebody to be quiet while you loud. You know what I'm talking about? You just want to be able to come around and control people. And I uh, and I ain't even really getting on this computer today. But that was the first thing I noticed about this computer when I jumped on here three, I'm, I'm going to say about three years ago. Two years and a half, three years ago. But that was the first thing I noticed on this computer. How people, uh, they build, they suffer, whatever. Be uh, To me, it always seemed like a nigga was looking for a co-following. Almost like you failed in the real world on uh, creating a gang or uh, your leadership don't work on real people in the real world or something, you know what I'm talking about? So you come up here and make like a fake audience. But I've been peeped that when I start hearing niggas, uh, I first seen it with some bitches, you know what I'm talking about? Where the bitches was up there and they was, uh, you know how niggas be doing their announcements before they go live and shit? <clears throat> like, we finna go live, y'all. And tomorrow my moderators... If you see somebody coming up in here with disrespect, y'all get them. It was like they made a big ass announcement, but it was like they put a thought in your head. They got you ready to play. And that's why I tell y'all I don't be playing them computer games. They got you ready to play. They got the mods over there just licking their chops. So now they just looking in the chat, looking to find something disrespectful so they could put you on time, I'll block you and all. Man, I ain't got time for that shit, bro. That shit just too much. It is. And... Whether somebody coming over there to fuck with you or not, folks. That's interaction. So a nigga coming over there saying some bullshit is the same thing as a nigga coming over there giving you love. Even a nigga coming over there giving you hate is love is interaction. You ain't got to agree with somebody's say. But like I said, I think we be uh, trying to... Because, you know, if you feel like you got a big uh, audience, like... I think we don't be wanting the people to come talk shit. I don't think we be wanting the, uh, the people that we like to see what they saying. And I, I don't know. But fuck them people, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Them people right there ain't got nothing to do, bro. You got to realize them people fans right there, bro. Because them people in their real life. And some and for some reason, they on your life. They in their own life. They got a chance to do whatever the fuck they want to do. And at that moment, they on your life. You better wake up, folks. That's what they want to do. You know what I'm talking about? So you got to look at everybody that tune in on you. You can't really, you got to look at all of them as fans, bro. They ain't really haters. I told you, a hater ain't really nothing but a fucking fan who don't know how to articulate they love anyway. You know what I'm talking about? Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. You know what I keep telling y'all, it's like the bitch that liked you in uh, grade school. So she kept throwing shit at you and picking on you because she, you know what I'm talking about? She was doing all that shit because she don't, she just don't, she ain't got no confidence just to come up to you and say, uh, Give me a kiss. You know what I'm talking about? Plant one on me. You know what I'm talking about? So she fucks with you. You know what I'm talking about? But she really likes you. Those triggers Tuesday. And basically this video just about here is just them uh, 
I ain't talking about the real triggers. I ain't talking about shit that people really do that you, you'll get mad at. I'm talking about the shit you didn't let these people put in your head to be upset about. That's what I'm talking about. Those triggers, too. Like, like when somebody come up here and tell you, you should never, you know what I'm talking about? They got you watching out for too much shit. You got the niggas, bro. I'm telling you, I think these niggas either be mad at their daddy, their mama, but these niggas got too much trial, childhood trauma, and they be coming to try to preach that shit to you, folks. <clears throat> Notice when these niggas be telling stories or something, you always gonna hear the niggas throwing there. Man, I used to get picked on in high school and all. But all them type of niggas right there, bro, be the nerd niggas. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't never really seen a nigga that I thought was a player in real life come up here and be talking about some player shit. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't talking about the real pimps that got stations either. Because you know what I'm talking about? You, <laughs> I ain't talking about the pimping. I'm just talking about the motherfuckers that be coming up here talking about dating coaches and all that old shit right there. And uh, You know what I'm talking about? They be trying to give you their uh, relationship advice and all that. The nerds. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't talking about nobody really affiliated with the game, man. But the, uh, the nerds that be coming up here, if you notice in them niggas' stories, they always going to tell you, they were scrawny in school. They used to get picked on or something like that. And that's what made them niggas go to the gym and get real big and all that shit. <clears throat> you know what I'm talking about? But it be them with that childhood trauma. But the niggas that be coming to tell you about a single mom and shit, it be like the crazy part about it. A lot of them niggas never knew their daddy, folks. You know what I'm talking about? So they got a bitch perspective on a nigga. And that's one of the coldest things that I see. I ain't bullshitting with you is you niggas be having a bitch's perspective on niggas. <clears throat> like, I done heard niggas get up here and say, like, you can feel the way you want to uh, to feel, bro. Like, a nigga can't tell you how to feel about some shit that happened to you. So you have the right to feel however you want to. I'm just saying, they gonna say, but I, I knew my daddy, bro, you know what I'm talking about? But, like, my mama nor my daddy, I told you the one thing my daddy did to make me mad. Uh, but other than that, man, my mama and daddy ain't really never did nothing that I was a... Uh, because I understand it's just life. And what we like to do, especially if we kids, we like to sit around and somehow judge everybody else, tell them what they should have did and that. Do you realize that <clears throat> your mama and daddy, I mean, what they taught you. But like when you get, you get to a certain age, bro, where you mama and daddy. You get what I'm saying? So now it's on you from that point. What is you going to do different? You get what I'm saying? Since you didn't like what your mama and daddy did, bro, what is you going to do different? You get what I'm saying? And that's the part we be, uh, because motherfuckers be grown and still having kids, bro, still trying to uh, put some kind of guilt trip on their mama and daddy and shit, talking about what they did, and they still hold some kind of grudge against them like that. That shit just uh, childish. <clears throat> and hell of us as grown people, are childish, bro. I ain't bullshitting with you. Hell of us. As grown people, we childish as fuck, folks. We is. That's why the argument always over the smallest shit. I ain't bullshitting with you. The argument is always gonna be over the smallest shit that a motherfucker can't let go. You know what I'm talking about? You said this, you said this. You ever seen that? Motherfucker be telling the story, motherfucker say this happened, and the other motherfucker be like, nah, it didn't. And that's what start the argument, bro. It don't even matter, folks. Just finish the story. If it happened this way or that way, just finish the story, bro. We don't have to argue. Like, we get so much of a kick of, I told you so. It'll seem like y'all ready to die for that shit. Then y'all get hella juice if you right. Nigga, I told y'all, y'all niggas don't know what y'all talk about. Nigga, I been doing it. And just, all right, you right, bro. And then if you wrong, you're going to make an excuse. Like, I don't know, man. Those triggers, too, like, folks. But I think a lot of motherfuckers, uh, gang of motherfuckers around this motherfucker worldwide, I think that we uh, have a lot of uh, artificial, falsified-ass shit that we have just been told to be mad about. You get what I'm saying? So you, uh... You walk around and you, it's just like, y'all do shit like this. this. It's the equivalent to this right here, bruh. 
you don't like loud music, but you keep going to concerts. So when you get to the concert, you up there on the thing trying to tell the DJ don't play the music so loud. Even though you at a concert. <clears throat> but you claim you don't like loud music. So you done went over here just to tell these people they got to turn the music down even though everybody else here to see a concert. But we, we get into them kind of ways somehow as, a, as people on this motherfucking earth, bruh. We do. <clears throat> we get into uh the motherfucking behaviors right there, folks. We get to coming around, then we got a motherfucking laundry list of shit for everybody else that's here to do for us to feel all right. We don't give a fuck about what nobody else want or because most of the time everybody else just be wanting you to shut the fuck up. And that's all you got to do and they could be fine. But you won't come and you are going to uh you just going to need too much from everybody. You know what I'm talking about? You're going to need them to be quiet. You're going to need them to stop smoking. You're going to need them to stop playing that rap music. You just got something for everybody to do, you know what I'm talking about, to make you comfortable. And the world just don't work like that. You know what I'm talking about? Those triggers, too. Is the, and uh, the Instagram person who posted that shit, that shit was a raw saying, folks. I ain't bullshitting with you. That shit said, your triggers are your responsibilities. It's not on the rest of the world to tiptoe around you. And I don't think we get that. I think that we have been running around talking about you know how I am for so long that you really believe, you done made yourself believe that that shit means something. Like that shit means something. That shit only got to deal with you, folks. That shit ain't really got to do with nothing else, folks. It don't. Yeah, it really don't. But we so good for uh, trying to control people and dictate what everybody else does. On the under, we got guilt trips and just little attitudes. We be we we got little ways and shit to make other people feel guilty. You know what I'm talking about? And in life, bruh, that's what'll wear your motherfucking ass out, nigga, bitch, anything. Cause if you spend all your time trying to make somebody else motherfucking comfortable, because people just don't know they don't want to be comfortable. They just need too much shit to be comfortable. So and you'll realize that, bruh, cause a motherfucker right now could want an ice cream. And you go get them some ice cream, then they gonna want a long spoon. It's just never gonna end, bro. So you ain't gonna really never be able to keep a motherfucker happy that that uh think they need something else than they self to be happy. You not. And that shit gonna burn you the fuck out. And every time you turn around, you're gonna find yourself reacting to how somebody else is feeling. So now you're going to either dumb yourself down or you're going to run around doing a whole bunch of shit that you really ain't got no time for trying to make this motherfucker's attitude better. And this motherfucker's attitude ain't going to never be better because that's just the way the motherfuckers is. Sometimes you just got to let the motherfuckers be the way they is by themselves, folks. Because that should have burned you out. You know what I'm talking about? Imagine being a happy person. You just naturally happy when you wake up. But then you got to spend your whole time trying to get other people happy. You won't even be able to get the most out your happiness, folks. That shit going to just take, because you already happy. You know what I'm talking about? So now you got to work extra hard to try to get these money. Man, that shit just too much work, folks. I ain't bullshitting with you. And the older you get, you'll realize you'll just, uh, it's just better to enjoy your happiness. Because that shit right there going to throw you off your happiness. And that's why as long as I've been living, bro, motherfuckers get irritated when you happy. When you got one of them spirits that, like, you, you just don't get down, bro, that shit irritates motherfuckers. It do. I remember I flipped over in the car, nigga. I got out. We was laughing like a motherfucker. And the motherfucker looked at me talking about, what the fuck is so funny? He was, motherfucker, I'm not dead, nigga. I'm joyous right now, nigga. But you're going to walk around for the rest of the day and think about how you could have died when you're still alive. Y'all something straight out of comic book, bro. Your mind is your worst enemy. Nigga, I'm finna go grind hard. I'm finna go get me some weed, a taste. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm finna, uh, in my mind, I'm finna celebrate that I'm not dead. I'm hella happy right now, nigga, because I could have just been gone, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? 
So, like, I appreciate the fact I'm still here. That's how my mind works. But you one of the motherfuckers that's going to go around all day and talk about how you just almost lost your life. And that's the point you're going to come from. That's the standpoint you're going to come from. You finna, you finna turn something that could be joyous because you still here. You finna turn that into one of them wah, 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 wah. You finna put the sad spin on it <clears throat> to make people feel sorry for you. What? And it's just on the way you think, folks. And that's why that shit dangerous right there if you ever encounter people who think like that. Because if you don't look out, they'll make you think like that. And you won't even be your happy self no more, bro. You won't. You'll just sit around and you'll complain, bro. You're going to complain and just every step of the way, just your eyesight is focused on the bullshit. So you're just looking for something to gripe about. And the like, that ain't it as a person, y'all. It ain't. Because that shit takes too much energy, folks. Like, don't nobody... Like, y'all might get a kick out of being sad and the confusion and the fuss and the mess and the... But, like, the majority of the people, they ain't got no time for that shit, bruh. And they be ready to get away from you once that shit start. You get what I'm saying? <clears throat> Because that shit right there, that ain't what time it is either, bruh. You know what I'm talking about? It ain't time to uh, be around this motherfucker against each other. You know what I'm talking about? It ain't time for something to always be wrong, bruh. It ain't no time for, uh, like, nigga, you the one who always got a problem. You know what I'm talking about? It don't be no time for that shit. It don't. You just can't never be happy. Those triggers Tuesday. But I think y'all sit around and y'all listen to people what they get mad about and shit, and I think that y'all try to emulate the shit that y'all be hearing or the thought they be putting in your head. So you ain't even really tripping off this shit. You just heard this is something you supposed to be mad about if somebody ever did this. What makes you mad is what makes you mad, bruh. And that's what you should be mad about. You shouldn't let nobody else talk you in the how to being mad. I don't know, bruh. You know what I'm talking about? I can just tell you something straight out of the comic book. Those triggers Tuesday, man. Because I'm sure everybody got triggers, you know what I'm talking about? Motherfucker do something, you just can't stand that. But all that artificial shit and the shit you heard on this talk show. and Because uh, y'all love watching a panel of about seven to eight motherfuckers with their own opinion. And y'all y'all listening to all this shit and like, yeah, I don't know, bro. Y'all just in a different world, you know what I'm talking about? Y'all in an opinion-based ass world to where everybody else's opinion is more important than yours. It don't matter if you like the song or not. It only matters if uh, Lil Wayne and Jay-Z like the song. Because if you like the song and they didn't like the song, you're going to tell everybody you wouldn't feel in it either. Y'all go on the, uh, the, the motherfucking popular opinion too much. <clears throat> Way too much. Oh, man, I had a boxing talk for y'all yesterday. And I didn't know why my shit kept saying something, man, but I, uh, man, it was a good one, too. I might, uh, don't hold me to it. I might, uh, I'll never be able to reenact that one, but, uh, I might, uh, bring you one. You know what I'm talking about? It was a good boxing talk, too. My shit that broke up into about 15, 12 minute video. <clears throat> so I just got the motherfuckers up out of there, man. They ain't even a uh, hate gear, baby, because this whole video. It was a good boxing talk, though. I might come with one for y'all. This fight coming up. You feel what I'm saying? I don't know, but, uh, yeah, on this motherfucking, uh, those triggers Tuesday, as people, we play too much, we do, we ain't gonna say we do, but we do, we play too much, we take too much advice from other people, it's like, we, we, it's almost like, uh, y'all use this motherfucking computer for motherfucking, um, like drugs, bruh, to escape your reality. You know what I'm talking about? So you could just go play an imaginary game in the computer all day. You could just go around saying the correct shit and the argument and what you should do, and y'all get a kick out of that. It's like y'all taking a blast. You know what I'm talking about? And Lord forbid you say something smart on the computer and everybody start liking it and giving you, that makes you feel like you did something for real. That's why you got
got so many conversations with no solutions. Nigga just come start a conversation about everything, man. anything, bruh. Man, I think we should just end nuclear weapons. What you guys think? You know what I'm talking about? And just, bro, what that shit got anything to do with anything, bro? Most of the shit we talk about ain't got nothing to do with nothing, bro. How the fuck is ending nuclear wars going to help you and your family, folk? If they was just to uh, destroy all the nuclear weapons right now, how would that help you in your life today? It can't. Just like talking about a bitch you ain't got, bro. And, like, I wish y'all would wake up and see this shit, bruh. But I know y'all nerds. Y'all out here talking about an invisible bitch, bruh. Like, weird signs when them niggas was playing with baby dolls. Y'all not up even up here <clears throat> with a gripe about your bitch. Now, what I think is happening, though, the reason y'all might be catching on, though, is because it might be a motherfucker with a bitch and that shit y'all be saying. A motherfucker sitting right there with a bitch and be like, yup, that's what these niggas be talking about. But I don't know. But for the most part, y'all niggas don't even be talking about, like, complaining about the bitch you got. Y'all just be talking about what bitches do. That don't make no sense. Just like bitches talking about niggas be, that shit don't make no sense. Bitch, you ain't even talking about a, a nigga that you got. You not even complaining about your nigga. You just complaining about niggas. Just like you niggas, y'all not even complaining about y'all bitch. Y'all just complaining about bitches, bruh. You don't see what the fuck they trying to walk you into, nigga? It's like, you don't even want a bitch now. You don't be saying all this shit wrong around. Men are not even approaching women no more. Man, like, that's some fly shit. I don't know. What's wrong with you niggas, bro? <clears throat> I don't know. And y'all saying that like some fly shit, bro. So what y'all finna do? Start approaching niggas? Because I'm telling you, I ain't heard no... Man, y'all didn't even have a problem with the hoes. To all you niggas start hanging out, using the funny drugs together. Spending the night at each other's house and shit. <clears throat> Next day... Oh, it seemed like all the niggas in the world against the bitch. And like I said, y'all got valid points about the bitches, bro. But, like, nigga, it's a bitch. It's a bitch. Just like, bitch, it's a nigga. Y'all act like you just gonna get the perfect person. Because they got it in your mind some kind of weird, like, you you just gonna get the person finished product, nigga. You just gonna find somebody that's already together, even though you not. <clears throat> Like, you ain't gonna have to find somebody and y'all gonna grow together. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all just gonna go through the shit. You just expecting to come out here and get somebody who done went through their whole struggle and they just didn't made it. And all you got to offer them is that thing you call you. Come on, man. Come on, y'all. No, you ain't gonna have to get with a motherfucker and y'all gonna have to go through your own trials and tribulations. No. You gonna get the finished product, bitch. You gonna get the finished product, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? With all the money, and he just going the fairy tale. You know what I'm talking about? We gonna live happily ever after. All right. And that be the funny part about that shit. You be wanting something that you ain't even ready for. You ain't even worked on yourself a bitch. You think you just gonna get somebody, <clears throat> and they gonna be glad just to accept all that shit you come with, nigga or bitch. Y'all be something straight out of the comic book. You just think that you're going to be able to stay the way you is and you're going to get everything you want out the world. I think that's what y'all think. <laughs> I think that you think that you don't have to change yourself because somebody done told you you can have anything you want to. <laughs> they forgot They forgot to tell you you're going to have to work for that shit. They just got you the nice version, bro. They just told you you can have anything you want in the world, bro, and this is what you believe. Like, you really believe, like, you don't have to put in no work and you can just pray and ask God for shit. And that shit just going to be mysteriously outside your door when you open the door. Like the store coming to bring blessings and shit. Man, y'all something straight out of comic book, folks. You got to work sometimes for your blessing, folks. Most of the time. Yo, your blessing going to come with an effort. You realize you can bless yourself, right? You ain't got to keep putting all that shit on God. You don't. But those triggers Tuesday, man. Because I think a lot of shit we do, we just, it's, it's an act, bro. I told you the whole world starting to look like a skit, nigga. I think it's just an act. I'm telling you, I heard a little nephew say that shit, monkey branching and out. Bro, I'm not, that's YouTube shit, bro. That's YouTube shit, bro. Motherfuckers don't talk like that in real life, bro. That's like, come on, y'all. She's monkey branching the boot. Bro, 
you're going to realize in your life, you ain't going to be able to control nothing but your motherfucking self. And that's what's wrong. Because a lot of us don't have control over ourselves. And it's hard. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't got control over myself. Because you just keep on, you know what I'm talking about? And like, <clears throat> I can't take that shit. I try to avoid that shit for as long as I can. But at some point, I snap. And at that point right there, it's just going to be what it is. You know what I'm talking about? But, uh, so I don't be talking like I'm a sensei. And that's what I want y'all because the people y'all good for that when you don't want to hear the truth. I'm not no know-it-all. I don't know everything. I told you I'm in the middle of trying to figure this shit out, making it happen. <clears throat> I'm just one of the people, bro. I don't know everything. You know what I'm talking about? I can just tell you what I've been through. You know what I'm talking about? And I can tell you the shit I see through my life. And uh, I can tell y'all just acting. I can tell you that shit is an act. That's what I can tell you. That shit is an act. <coughs> I ain't gonna say, bro, how you know that shit is an act? Because I ain't never seen you do that shit at your job. I ain't never seen you do that shit in front of the police. See, let me tell y'all something, bro. When you crazy, you just crazy. You don't have selective craziness. You get what I'm saying? You're not crazy until the police come. You're not crazy until you get to work. <clears throat> like, you real cautious. You know when to be crazy. You know what I'm talking about? So that's why I say a lot of that shit just be an act. You know what I'm talking about? And most of that shit be a cry for attention. You'll just you'll be surprised how many motherfuckers don't, <laughs> especially in this computer age. Y'all really just don't know how to uh, network with people. You don't really know how to be uh, what's that word social. And they call me anti-social, but I'm I'm one with the people, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? I can go anywhere, bro. Any motherfucking where, bro. I'm one of the people. You know what I'm talking about? So it ain't nowhere that I I won't be able to uh you know what I'm talking about wiggle you know what I'm talking about once I get there, but a lot of people is socially awkward. You get what I'm saying? And y'all really don't know how to communicate with people. So then once again, like I told you, we big ass kids. So then we act out, and that's the only way we could get attention. You know what I'm talking about? We gonna cause some kind of scene here. This is gonna be some bullshit. You know what I'm talking about? Those triggers Tuesday. And just like that motherfucker, uh, that saying said, it said, man, your triggers is your responsibility. It ain't up to the rest of the world to tiptoe around you. And that's some cold shit right there, folks. Because it's like we don't know how to deal with the way we is. And we act like somebody supposed to understand that shit. You act like you could tell somebody who like loud music that you don't. What does that shit mean to somebody who like loud music? That's on you. So guess what? Just get away from where the loud music is. <clears throat> but you ain't going to do that. Those triggers Tuesday. You're going to sit right there and make a big ass fuss about them playing loud music when they like loud music. You act like you not liking loud music means more than to this person who likes loud music. You know what I'm talking about? And that just, that comes in the part where we just big ass dictators. Ugh! And we like to come around and control people with the shit we like and don't like. You know what I'm talking about? That's just like, nigga, you've been watching a good ass movie. You you in the middle of it, just getting to the good part. You finna find out why all this shit really going on. And the motherfucker come in there and say, I don't like this movie. I want to watch the news. You know what I'm talking about? And as people, I don't think we look into how big of a, like, kids, like, a baby we is, bro. Like, spoiled-ass brats that just always want their way. Not only do you want your way, you one of the motherfuckers who, uh... <clears throat> it ain't that, like, I want my way. I want y'all to, uh... Not even kiss my ass. Uh, I want y'all to make some cake and some steak. So they already doing that. 
but you got a role for everybody to play while they doing that. Like, no, I don't want you to stand right there. I'm going to need, you want to control everybody and what they could do for you to be all right. And that shit crazy as a motherfucker, bro. And that once again, I'm going to tell you as people, we don't know how to let other people be them. We want people to do what we want people to do. We just don't know how to let people be them. We don't. Somebody going to say, all right, bro, you talking about you don't let people be them? You be over there. Because them behaviors ain't you. Because you didn't used to act like that. That's what I'm going to say to that. Them behaviors ain't you. You just learned that shit, folks. You know what I'm talking about? Because you just go with the flow. You stuck in society and whatever society doing. So you trying to keep up with the times and the Joneses. You know what I'm talking about? That's why you running around in them little ass clothes right now. You know what I'm talking about? That's why you doing that. But you talking about this drip. Do what you want to, man. But I'm just telling you, I know you. You know what I'm talking about? Ugh. And you just caught up in the times. Because niggas don't, uh, gossip niggas don't be talking about, uh, you know what I'm talking about? And they just got you gossiping, talking about everything else, bro. That's really not no good trait. Like, do you realize, once you get used to talking about anything, ugh, do you think somebody can really come around and show you something of significance? Do you think somebody can really come around and tell you something of, signif of significance that really means something to them or something, bro? No. You just then took yourself out of that category, folks. You talk way too motherfucking much. Ain't nobody ever asked you that or something? Like, you done did something, motherfucker be like, man, why you didn't tell me? Nigga, because you talk too motherfucking much. I don't want nobody to know, nigga. That's why I ain't told you. That's why I ain't called you. You talk too motherfucking much. Every time I tell your ass something that I don't want somebody to know, they know it. Nigga. That's why I ain't called and told you. Or you go somewhere. Hey, you know Or you go somewhere and the motherfucker be talking about why, why, why you didn't call me? Because I didn't want you to go. That's why I didn't call you. That's why I didn't call you or nobody else. Because I, I, this place I went, I, I wanted to go there by myself. I didn't want no chaperone or co-pilot. You know what I'm talking about? I just wanted to be here by myself. You know what I'm talking about? I don't need to call you. I'm in my own life. You know what I'm talking about? <clears throat> now, if I call you and I want to invite you somewhere or something, that's the place I'll call you and I want to invite you. Anything other than that, right there, you know what I'm talking about? Don't question me about where the fuck I've been. What the fuck I didn't did or you know what I'm talking about? I did that because that's what I wanted to do inside my life. I'm grown. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all don't want to hear that shit then. But mother, man, why you just do that old scandal as that? Man, I'm grown. You see, y'all don't want to hear y'all you grown when I ain't got to explain my motherfucking life to you. See, I can't use your same logic on you. Nigga, something straight out of a comic book. I ain't bullshitting with you. And that's how we get all over the place. It is. Y'all use a logic. Y'all y'all got one of the microwave logics that just makes sense <clears throat> when you try to prove a point. Now, if a motherfucker come right back and use your logic, you ain't gonna understand it then. You're gonna be like, no, you gonna you gonna say something else because it don't your logic only works for you. And when you're trying to prove a point. We all over the place, bro. But your mental. And that's all I wanted to say, bro, because that's the moral of this one right here, those triggers. I think you just tell yourself a lot of artificial shit and you download a lot of artificial shit from the world. So you, uh, I don't think you be mad about a lot of shit that you be trying to act like you mad about. Because once again, I said we are perfect and we, we the number one candidates when it comes to uh, giving ourselves some, uh, analyzing ourselves with some kind of uh, ailment. You know what I'm talking about? We'll come up there and tell you that we suffering from depression. You ain't want to go see the doctor or nothing, man. We'll just come tell you some shit that we got that we done diagnosed ourselves with, folks. I ain't bullshitting with you. And I'm going to tell you the reason you depressed, I'm always going to tell you this, bruh, is because of what you think about. I'm telling you, scientifically proved, bruh. You know what I'm talking about? They don't know what the fuck caused that shit. 
or anxiety. The only explanation they could come up with is uh, your mind got to thinking hella fast. You done made yourself nervous and hyperventilated because you're thinking about something. You done scared yourself that bad. You know what I'm talking about? For real. But depression comes from how you think. Just like I explained that shit when I flipped over in the car and I was laughing. I was so happy, bro, because I'm telling you, we had just went to a funeral for little Howie and Nick that died in a car accident, bro. It was right after that shit. So y'all know, little man, that was way back when. That was mid-90s. Or maybe late 90s. That might have been 97, 98. <laughs> yup. But they had just died in a car accident, bro. And that motherfucker flipped over. And that shit happened so quick. I'm telling you, bro. That's like, I know y'all ain't never been through nothing. I don't even know why I scared. I don't think I was going that fast. But you see how I say, I don't think I was going that fast? I don't know how fast I was really going. You know what I'm talking about? I know they had pissed me off, so I was trying to get their ass up out of my car. So I might have been going a little bit fast. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I was trying to get these bitches up out of my car, bro. I ain't bullshitting with you. I hate when a motherfucker jump in the car with me. <laughs> like, man, listen, bro. I'm going. <laughs> if you jump in my car, I was already going somewhere, bro. This is what I'm talking about. Those triggers. You know what trigger, bro? You done jumped in my car, man. We smoking. Once I'm smoking, I'm smoking, bro. I ain't the nigga that's smoking and we stopping at Denny's. And, man, we can talk about all this shit when the weed gone. I ain't the bitch. This how y'all smoke. I don't smoke like that. I jump on the highway. I ain't got no license. I ain't got no insurance. Nothing. We just in the car. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I stays on the highway and smoke. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't the nigga who be stopping at hella stores. And you know what I'm talking about? Man, I'm on the highway back then smoking. You know what I'm talking about? Once the weed gone, we can talk about where we gonna go and all that shit from there, man, and what we close to. So you keep on nagging, bro. But that motherfucker just kicked sideways, bro. I couldn't turn the steering wheel or nothing. You know what I'm talking about? We was just sideways like this. You know what I'm talking about? That motherfucker hit a, uh, the littlest of curves, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? The curve with nothing but probably this big. That motherfucker like, bah, woo, 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 woo. That motherfucker did hella somersaults, nigga. Like we was in a gymnastics uh, tournament. <laughs> I ain't with you. And we was in a little ass Chevette. I'm telling you, that's how I know it's a guy. That motherfucker said, woo, 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 bam, hella quick, bruh. And we landed on the wheels. The nigga could have landed over, turned, you know what I'm talking about? I was just grateful. So I'm just sitting there, bruh. I got the tampa in my hand. It ain't even no tampa. I'm just sitting there, like, and that motherfucker like this. If it was just a few more inches, nigga, it was like just a drop, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? We was getting off from an uh, <laughs> old school uh, seminary up there by the gas station, whatever. Uh, yeah, I think it's the seminary exit. It is. The one that'll take you to Mills College. I was coming around that motherfucker, man. You know what I'm talking about? I was coming around that motherfucker, motherfucker just kicked out sideways. Nigga, you know what I'm talking about? That boop, 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 bam. But I got out. We was laughing, bro. That shit was, I don't know. I was just happy to be alive like a motherfucker, bro, because that shit is like, Shit, you can't even explain. You know what I'm talking about? Like, you can't even explain that shit, folks. That shit just happened. The car just kicked sideways, bruh. I couldn't move the steering wheel or nothing, bruh. The steering wheel was the, like, it wouldn't lock to nothing, bruh. It was just spinning, bruh. The wheels was just going this way, though, bruh. You know what I'm talking about? Chevette. Boom, 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 bam! You know what I'm talking about? And I look, nigga, my Perry Ellis coat was way over there, nigga. The radio was way over there, nigga. I seen the loony tape sticking out way over here. Because you remember that loony tape used to be green and orange? <laughs> that motherfucker was colorful. You know what I'm talking about? That old school loony sick music, man. That motherfucker was, uh, that if you had that tape, that motherfucker was like a, a funny green and an orange. I just got out laughing. Now, look, if I would have looked like that the other way, uh, like the motherfucker looked at me, talking about, what you laughing for? It's nothing funny. And all that old shit. Like, you can't make me think like you, bitch. You know what I'm talking about? This motherfucker storm off the whole day telling the motherfucker how you almost died. And that's how I think you get depression, bro. By the way you take shit. By the way you perceive shit. And uh, you, you, like, that's why I tell you it's impossible for you to believe in God if all you do is worry. You know what I'm talking about? You believe in worry. You don't believe in God. You know what I'm talking about? But just worrying, bruh. Stressing, like, 
Man, that shit'll kill you. On some real shit. That shit uh that shit harder on your body than drugs, nigga. Stress? I ain't bullshitting with you. You better keep your motherfucking mind free, nigga. Stay happy. Just look at shit, man. Cause like at the bottom of the, the motherfucking day, what can you do, bruh? That some shit happen. Man, that shit happen. It ain't nothing you can do, bruh. And after that point, whatever happened, you either is or you ain't. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Whatever it is, bro. You either is or you ain't, bro. But a lot of shit you could just let go. It don't even be that serious, bro. It don't. And I had to learn that the hard way on some real shit. I had to lose years of my life to understand that shit. This shit ain't worth it, folks. A lot of that shit. Just anything, bro. Because all niggas going to do is tease you anyway, bro. So you ain't like... You know, I don't know, nigga, you, uh, <clears throat> you get tired of a motherfucker talking to you crazy, bro, you know what I'm talking about? You don't feel you could beat him up, so you pop him, bam, you know what I'm talking about? The nigga tell on you. Yeah, you didn't think he was going to tell because he was always talking tough, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? So you just thought you was going to be able to pop him and it was going to be on from there. But no, you go to jail and you realize all that shit he was saying wasn't even worth all that shit, bro, I promise you. Now, look, when he was talking to you crazy, everybody was teasing you, talking about you was a sucker and all that. When you popped that nigga, <clears throat> they were still talking about you. Oh, you hella stupid. That nigga scared. He didn't even want to fight. You know what I'm talking about? They still going to be talking about you, bruh, even though the nigga told on you. Somehow, you still going to be the scary one and all that. You know what I'm talking about? Even though he just popped the nigga, you know what I'm talking about? He could have been on from there. But he told the police. So somehow you still going to be scary. You know what I'm talking about? They going to talk forever, bro. That's why you don't let that shit bother you. Just know the nigga you is. You know what I'm talking about? Because they going to be able to talk that shit forever, bro. You know what I'm talking about? That's why you just be the nigga you is forever. You know what I'm saying? They going to talk any way it is, bro. People going to love you. People not going to like you. You know what I'm talking about? You can't really control that. All you can control is the nigga you is. So just be the nigga you is. For the rest of the nigga you is. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't bullshitting with you, folks. Those triggers. Because people come around on artificial shit now trying to control you with that shit, bro. I don't know what it is. In the real world, bro. People come around with their likes and they dislikes and they want you to like, uh, it's just like a motherfucker trying to take you to the opera. I don't want to go see that shit, man. And they trying to convince you to, of the beauty of the look, bro. That's that shit. That's what that shit mean to you. I'm not sitting up here for no fucking four hours listening to nobody yell, bro. I don't. That ain't my thing, bro. And you trying to tell a motherfucker they childish or something because they don't understand the experience or something. Man, get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm talking about? That's just like trying to take somebody to a basketball game that don't like basketball, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? That shit don't make no sense. All I'm saying is, bro, this like, just basically don't let nobody put you on their program, bro. Those triggers. Because motherfuckers just come around. It seem like everything trigger them. You know what I'm talking about? And that's just the moral of this story. Don't let nobody else come around try to change your program. All right. You know what I'm talking about? On some real shit. Can't let nobody come around talking about they dislikes and likes shouldn't mean more than yours. And that's what people do. They try to make they self bigger than like they come trying to just basically press their program on you, bro. You know what I'm talking about? It'd be just like old people. Oh, and before I get up out of here, man, just like look, bro, because I know we be out here and we be saying stuff and we all be looking at what's going on and we the and this is just to anybody. I don't promote no <laughs> I don't promote no violence, no crime, nothing like that, right, bro? But uh, I had a conversation with a motherfucker, man. Let me tell y'all something, people. If you ever in a situation, that's why it's just good to be out here living life and shit, bruh. At that time, depending on which situation you in, bruh, you're going to have to go off your own common sense. You can't listen to nobody else like that, bruh. Because I just heard somebody talking about, man, uh, you might as well turn yourself in. Let me tell you something about that shit right there, bruh. Depending on what you did, bruh. 
like, say you get caught, and that's just it. Why would you turn yourself in, bro? And I'm just saying that, bro, because I just remember, motherfuckers got that good when you on the run, not them, you. About telling the motherfucker to turn they self in, folks. I done went through that shit my whole life, bro. And that shit is one thing. That's one of the brush triggers. And you know what I'm talking about? Those triggers. And that shit is because you know who good, bro? Listen, man. If First of all, don't just get in and nothing. That's the only way you can avoid this situation right here, bro. Don't be eager to get into nothing when you got to be on the run and shit, bro. But if you do after that, bro, we just playing cops and robbers. You get what I'm saying? Because it ain't nothing you can do when you're in the situation, bro. Don't let nobody try to talk what they are doing to you, folks. Don't let grandma, mama, and them say it. Uh, they'll feel better if you just turn they so. Bro, don't let nobody. Cause that's where it come from the most. Grandma, mama, and them. You know what I'm talking about? Granddaddy is just going to tell you to be careful. You know what I'm talking about? But grandma, mama, and them, they going to be like, go on, just turn yourself in, baby. And then, Listen, bro, if you done ever did something where you got to be on the run, bro, that shit don't make no sense, bro. <laughs> from that point on, we playing cops and robbers. <laughs> And that shit ain't funny, bro, but that's the only other option you got, bro, at that point right there. That's why it's just best not to get into none of that shit, bro, but it don't make no self to turn yourself in after you already and shit, bro. You playing cops and robbers from that point on, folks. I ain't bullshitting with you. Nigga, that's just like somebody telling you to take a L, nigga. What the fuck does it, sense does it make to take a deal for life? Unless you was trying to avoid the death penalty or some special circumstances, but like... I'm just going to take a deal for life. You might as well go to trial, bruh. It's the same thing, bruh. Like, you got action to beat in the trial, bruh. You just going to take life? That don't make no sense. You know what I'm talking about? Those triggers, too. is like, man, I just wanted to leave that one in the air, man. Because uh, as people, we just good for uh, giving other people advice when we don't really understand the severity of shit. Like, we be looking at shit from the outside. And playing them games. You know what I'm talking about? Playing our fantasy games. Cops and robbers on the streets, though. You know what I'm talking about? We playing our fantasy games and talking about, well, you just, bro, it don't make no sense to turn yourself in if you're going to get caught and you're not going to see the streets again. Why would you turn yourself in, folks? Unless you was just tired of running. But that don't make no sense. They say, bro, how you stay on the run? Now, listen, I don't promote no crimes. I don't promote no invading the felon. All right, but just uh, check this one out. If you ever wanted to, uh, this is just my opinion, man, for educational purposes only. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Uh, you're going to have to go somewhere where you ain't never been before, bro, if you just want to stay on the run and walk around and shit. Now, if you just want to stay on the run, you can get somewhere in the cubby hole and just stay inside, folks. And just never come outside. That ain't the life either, bro. Because you're going to get to arguing with people. People are going to start getting on your nerves and shit. <laughs> you're going to start getting on people's nerves and shit. Because you're on the run. So you ain't going to want to do nothing much. I thought somebody knocked on my shit. You, you ain't going to want to do nothing much but uh, be uh, have a taste and smoking weed off drugs and shit. Nervous, keep looking out the window and saying, you know what I'm talking about? I ain't bullshitting with you. But uh, if you want to walk around and shit, like you don't want to stay in the house, you're going to have to go somewhere you ain't never been before, bro. That you ain't got no family at. Like they don't even know. Because I told you, bro, when I was on the run, them people had took every letter that somebody had wrote me in the penitentiary, bro. And they was running up in people's houses I ain't never even been to before, bro. I ain't bullshitting with you. The U.S. Marshal. That's another thing, too. If you cross state lines, the U.S. Marshal coming after you. <laughs> you you ain't even got to worry about your local people no more. Yeah, they got a special task force for uh, parolees that cross state line. The U.S. Marshal going to come get you, the FBI, and them. you ain't even got to worry about it no more. Like, it might be a parole officer uh, up in there with them or something from your county, but uh, for the most part, you ain't even got to worry about it. The U.S. Marshal on you now, that tag team. But, uh... <clears throat> You're going to have to go somewhere, work a profile. I don't promote no uh, evading a felon, but uh, are no crime, no negativity, nothing like that. But if you ever just want to run and, and just walk around, you're going to have to work a profile. You're going to have to go somewhere. and You ain't got no family at somewhere you don't even know, bro. You're going to have to work off faith for real. You're just going to have to pop up somewhere and meet some people. I ain't bullshitting with you. 
Good, you're going to have to go to Omaha, Nebraska or something. Because for some reason, too, bro, when everybody get on the run, they always go to one of them big-ass cities, bro. L.A., New York, Atlanta, Las Vegas. They just always go to one of them where it be hella hot at. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Them niggas be having their own shit going on inside this shit. You're going to have to find one of them hick towns, nigga. Omaha, Nebraska. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You're going to have to find, like, somewhere in the country or something, bro, where you ain't never been. Nigga, work profile. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Get you a job, uh, live like a regular person. If you ever watch Almost Got Away With It, y'all seen that nigga did that shit. I forgot how he got knocked. That nigga was raising his son. He had started his own business and everything. That nigga was, uh, I forgot how that nigga real name came back. That nigga was gone for about, uh, 15 years. Nigga started a whole nother life on their ass. Working that profile. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> they easy to get, blood. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? But, uh. Yeah, I said all that to say because we was having a conversation yesterday. This is the one I had on my boxing talk that I didn't put. I'm glad I remembered it at the beginning. Uh, Because we, we had a conversation yesterday and the motherfucker talking about, man, you uh just turn yourself in. And the people who be saying this shit is motherfuckers who won't even go. Nigga got a ticket right now that you only got to go do two hours for and the ticket to be squashed. They have been running from a fucking traffic ticket in two hours in jail, nigga, for damn near 30 years. Bro, you know what I'm talking about? That type of motherfucker is the one to say you might as well just go turn yourself in. That shit easy to say when you ain't got that problem. That's all I'm saying. And I think that's what irritates me. You know what I'm talking about? Because we always have the opinion that's ours. You know what I'm talking about? On a problem that we don't really be having. It's easy to come up with the best answer for a problem you really don't got. It's easy. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man? And nephew says, old man, old lady. Nephew says, old man, old lady. Hey, what you say, bro? Old lady. Hey. On some real shit, bro. Those triggers Tuesday. You know what I'm talking about? So, uh, I'm finna get up out of here. But the moral of this one right here, bro. I think they're around here coercing motherfuckers on how to act. I don't think y'all really that mad and that angry about shit. I don't really think y'all be having problems with all these people. Y'all be acting like y'all have problems with. I don't, uh, you know what I'm talking about? I think this shit one big skit. I ain't gonna lie to you. Those triggers Tuesday, man. I, I just think we faking. And, uh, one of the reasons why I bought this up, because life is too motherfucking short, folks. For uh, most of y'all's attitude, because uh, the thing that came along with this bullshit ass fuckery great shift is now everybody just walk around mad. Those triggers Tuesday. So everybody just always got an attitude. That's how you niggas get more like bitches. But everybody just always walk around mad and, and, and hella, uh, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, sensitive and uh, it's just weird, bro. But everybody always mad and got an attitude. That ain't that ain't how you fuck with it amongst the people, folks. And y'all know we happy people by nature. You can trace this way back, bro. We just happy people. I forgot what book it was, bro. But one of them white people uh, wrote a book that went over there to Africa. And took some of them people's shit. One of the niggas that went over there and took their diamond or cocoa or some shit like that. Because, you know, they got all the natural resources over there. Uh, nigga might have, I don't know, he, he might have been over there on the cocoa or something. But he was writing a book about the uh, the people. And he said he almost felt sorry for them because it was like they didn't even understand. You know what I'm talking about? That the What the motherfucking people was doing because they just loving people by nature. And they, hey, I, you know what I'm talking about? They just greet. They just loving people by nature. Happy spirited people by nature. So he, he was like basically saying he felt bad for them because they didn't even understand what was going on. They was just trying to show love. I forgot the white man. That way. He was one of the white people that went over there and stole some of that shit, man. I don't know if it was the diamonds, gold. Uh, but he was one of the motherfuckers over there to get them natural resources. But he had wrote a book. You know what I'm talking about? But he said the people was just, they they fucking, 
They 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 loving by spirit, by nature, bruh. Us as people. So I don't understand how they got us to be mad at each other and just always angry. And the 42 fake ass attitudes and just like that big ass gang, bruh. This shit just remind me of the hallways at Frick. When you're junior high again, man. You know what I'm talking about? I bet you remember your locker combination. <laughs> What do I know? Only you could prevent forest fires, man. And without them right there, you don't remember nothing else. Always remember. It don't cost nothing. This is a little bit of that love.